Okay, we are here now. Uh, Tinubu Creates Ministry of Livestock Development to Stop Farmer Heather Clashes is the uh, topic of discussion. President Bola Tinubu has created the Ministry of Livestock Development to address the ongoing farmers' heather clashes. This follows the National Livestock Reforms Committee's recommendation from September 2023 to establish a dedicated Ministry for Livestock Resources aiming to reduce conflicts and manage resources effectively. Former Kanu State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje, leading the committee, presented 21 recommendations to the President. The proposed solution include the establishment and revitalization of grazing reserves and expanding existing departments of livestock production to meet industry needs. The committee emphasized the necessity for institutional reforms to stop the livestock industry and mitigate conflicts. Ganduje highlighted the sector's low productivity and its impact on Nigeria's import dependency for dairy, meat and other livestock products, stressing the importance of a comprehensive approach to address various types of headers in Nigeria. Now, the recommendations also proposed funding sources, including contributions from international organizations, the private sector, and the government to support the implementation of these reforms and ensure the sustainable development of the livestock industry. Now, to discuss this with me is Mr. Nick Aguli, a public affairs analyst. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mr. Aguli. Good morning, sir, and good morning to our viewers globally. I'm glad that um, for, uh, you know, one of the states that is suffering, uh, so to speak, this farmer heather clashes is Benway State and you come from there. Uh, we'll, we'll delve into that. But first of all, Nigerians are complaining about hardship. Nigerians are complaining about the bloated cabinet of the present administration, which is the highest in, in decades now. And... Um, uh, the presidency is talking about implementing the Arosanya report, which talks about uh, the, the abolishment of duplicate ministries. And this same government wants to establish a new ministry. In fact, it has established a new ministry. Uh, so what is your take on this? You know, doing, saying one thing and doing the other, this hypocrisy of, uh, of, of government at this point, because that's what I would call it. You're establishing... You're, you're implementing a Russian report and then you're making your ministries even grow bigger and bigger. So I, I don't know. What is your own take? Thank you very much. Um, I was uh, airborne yesterday and when I arrived, I now was greeted with the news that Nigeria has now got a brand new ministry called the Ministry for Livestock Development. And my immediate response to this is that I don't think this policy has been well thought through. And I agree with you completely that this is not the time to create additional bureaucracy. This is not the time to, you know, bring in more complexity to a matter that has already been fully analyzed in Nigeria and already plans have been in place to deal with it. Uh, so uh, the first thing I read in the news was that the primary objective of creating this Ministry for Livestock Development is to contain farmer header uh, 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 clashes in Nigeria. And I don't think that is the solution to farmer header uh, crisis in Nigeria by merely creating a ministry is not going to bring to an end the farmer header crisis in Nigeria because let us not forget that up to yesterday, uh, livestock has been managed by the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm. So there was a ministry there, there was a director for livestock development, and if by merely creating a ministry and having someone responsible who resolve the farmer header crisis, then it would have been resolved since the Minister of Agriculture under the Director for Livestock Development was already there. So this is just a basic fact that is not a, the absence of a ministry that was the reason for this crisis. You know, so I think President Tinubu has taken a wrong step here, and perhaps it's not late for him to recorrect his steps. And I say this for a number of reasons. Number one. 
we already have a, an elaborate livestock management framework in Nigeria. And what is simply left is for implementation. For instance, President Tinubu's predecessor in office, President Buhari, who is on the same platform like his, the All Progressive Congress, the APC, because uh, the, the good thing is, the good thing we should have in Nigeria is the fact that President Tinubu is of the APC, just like the man who spent eight years before him. So President Tinubu should be executing and implementing the APC agenda for Nigeria. Mm. It's not as if it's from a different party that has a different philosophy or a different approach to how governance will be made. No, they are on the same platform. It is the same vehicle, only the driver has changed. So President Buhari had a national livestock transformation plan, 2019 to 2028. I don't know if President Tinubu is aware of that plan. Uh, have the advisors brought it to his notice that the APC government before him had that plan? And that plan was clearly articulated to resolve this uh, 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 farmer header uh, crisis. By the way, when we say farmer header crisis, is, is a bit of an oxymoron because a header is a farmer. You know, we're talking about crop farmers are the ones that till the soil. Mm. The animal farmers are the ones that uh, rear animals. They are all farmers. So sometimes when we even try to make that distinction between farmer header, it, it's, not a, it's not a correct distinction. And perhaps it's one of the problems. We should take it that these people are all farmers. We're catering for them as all farmers. One is farming for crops, and one is farming for animals. You know, and perhaps when we stop making this distinction between a farmer and a herder, and calling all of them as farmers, well, they may begin to see themselves as members of one family for which they are actually. You know, so for, 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 for lack of going digressing too much, because I could have talked about how have uh, animal farming, the dung from animal farming, supports the crops in terms of manure, and in terms of after you have already threshed the seeds of the crops, what is left becomes food for the animals. This is the way God designed it. That, you know, these people will coexist and be depending on each other. And in Nigeria, we just now brought this distinction and start, as our started calling farmer header. What does that mean? You know, so this National Livestock Transformation Plan was put in place by the previous government. What President Tinubu needed to do was to commit money and resources to implement that plan. The money that he's using now to set up a federal ministry is the money he should have just put into that plan. And by now, one year after he took office, would have been making way forward. So unfortunately, he has just created another... Um, operating expenditure because you know this ministry majority of their budget is uh, operating expenditure while capital expenditure is very small so this ministry is going to chop all the money into operating expenditure salary, travels, newspaper all that and nothing for capital to develop the livestock so if President Tinubu had just taken the entire budget is going to a man for this ministry and committed it to capital by implementing the National Livestock Transformation Plan, we'll be on our way. Hmm. I, I, was just, I was just looking at it. I, I didn't even understand because I, I don't understand the distinction between what they're going to be doing and what the Ministry of Agriculture is going to be doing. Is that, that means, like you said, there's a directorate or there's a director that uh, superintends over this livestock and everything. Will it now be that they will remove this uh, director, go to another place and say, okay, this is a ministry of, um, of livestock, and then this minister will have his aides, he will have all the, the PAs and PAs of PAs and SAs and all that in this ministry. That means money is going and they will never owe them their salary, but they will be owing uh, salaries of civil servants who are working under the Ministry of Agriculture. I don't, I don't even know. So does this, does this tell you anything about 
the uh, success of implementing the Orosanya report? Does it give you any, any kind of confidence that that report, that it, the claim will be implemented, will be done uh, in, a, in, a, in a way that Nigerians will like it? Or it's just you pick and choose what you, you think is not in, in your favor and do? Definitely, uh, this uh, new ministry, this new bureaucracy that is being created is not uh, in consonance with the Orosaya report. It's complicating matters. Like you clearly said, um, to create a new ministry, the first thing is that they're going to look for an office uh, block for this ministry. And if they don't have an existing office block, they'll have to pay for one. And then you now appoint a minister, appoint a permanent secretary, appoint directors, and then you now uh, get staff in, and the ministry will start opening offices around the country, duplicating all the efforts of the Federal Minister of Agriculture is already in place for. You know, uh, I think President Tinubu needs to understand that uh, places like the United States are being run with 15 departments. 15 departments. You know, and he already, he's got uh, um, more ministries than Nigeria has ever had. And, and the places that place like the UK are being run with less than 20 departments. So it's not about multiplying the departments of government that gets the job done. It's simply about committing resources in, in, in the places that these resources are needed. And if, like I said, the monies that are now going to be used in creating this ministry, this new ministry for livestock development, were used to activate the National Livestock Transformation Plan, which his predecessor, President Buhari, had put in place. And that plan has the main strategic objective of that plan is to move Nigeria's livestock production from its current primitive and ancient mode into the modern way. And the modern way is ranches. And ranches need money to be created. You know, some people talk about, oh, uh, livestock farming is a business, so why will government then need to come in to support the business and all that? But government comes in to support businesses all over in Nigeria. Uh, government is supporting the petrol business, for instance. You know, so government can support a business if for the purpose of security, of lives and property, and full security. Government uh, realizes that we need to come in here and support this particular sector of the economy. They can do so. And when the economy, when that sector uh, begins to run on its feet, government can then gradually withdraw its support and the sector can carry on. Okay. The current livestock farmers are already used to this nomadic way of farming. Look, uh, Nyamgo, I don't know if you have tried it, but for me, when my parents were alive, I tried it. You bring your parents from the primitive way they are living in the village to town and you think that you are giving them the <laughs> modern they way not of like living it. and all of that they will not like they it. want to go back to the village mm -hmm. sure. you understand so this is what is happening here these nomadic herdsmen, they don't want to go they, they they don't know they don't even know they have not experienced the modern way of animal farming which is ranching so anytime you try to want to take them away from what they know to an unknown place they resist it they, you know, but if government actually spends money now that is meant to be used for the creation of this new ministry to build modern ranches, and these herdsmen are taken to these ranches, they put their cows in the in the ranches. The the cows have grass to eat. You know, the the herders themselves are not moving about, and uh, their children are now in one place going to school. Their women are running businesses in the place. And their cows are becoming fatter and fatter because you know what the herdsmen don't know is that just like a human body, a human body that is continuously exercising will be lean. Do you understand? If, if the people who are obese, who are fat, is because they are not doing a lot of exercise. Mm. If you are doing a lot of exercise, you become lean. So these cows are constantly every day exercising. That's why they are lean. 
If they put them in one place and they are eating grass and lying down where they are eating the grass, they will be coming fat and fat and fat. And the headers will be making a lot more money. Then their eyes will open to this new way of um, uh, modern farming that we're talking about. So this is how government should support this thing. Creating a ministry, definitely, is against the spirit of the Rosa report. And I think President Tinubu is taking us way backwards. So you propose that he goes back on his words and uh, not create this ministry and uh, do something about the report that came from the previous administration. It's, it's unfortunate Absolutely. that the person leading that committee that uh, recommended this is the current, uh, the former uh, Kanu State Governor and the current APC Chairman, National Chairman. And I wonder how it's possible, whether there's a disconnect between the party and those who are in government. Because if those in government in the past administration belong to APC and they had a plan, this should have been implemented by the present administration. I don't know where that disconnect comes from. Abdullahi Ganduje is the one leading that committee, and he made this recommendation that there should be a new ministry, among other things. And I wonder why that is. Is, that, is it that there's no structure where the party and the government communicates even though they are in power? I think this is where the difference is coming from. I think you have laid out a very strong point. You know, uh, we have political leaders. Because by con the constitution, uh, these leaders will emerge through a political process. Mm. Now, when they become leaders through a political process, in other crimes where development is happening very quickly and at a fast pace, the political leaders use technocrats to do technical things that like what we're talking about. So instead of appointing Ganduje, who is a politician, President Tinubu should have appointed a real technocrat, people whose expertise is in livestock production, who know how livestock is done across the world. This is their expertise. This is what they, they sleep and work up with. All right. And they would have run this study and done the report for him and giving him a professional view on this matter and not a political view. Okay. So that he would have then taken a decision that will work for all Nigerians, for all parties involved, both the headers and, 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 and the, the farm. farmers. Mm. All right, well. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, as well. Um, uh, I do hope that um, something good will come out of it, no matter how bad this is. But this is where we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much, Mr. Agule, for uh, giving us your time this morning. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, uh, definitely, uh, this is not the time to create bureaucracy. In Nigeria now, we have uh, Nigeria Animal Production Research Institute, one Nigeria Institute for Animal Science, one Livestock Production, we have a resilient project, too many bureaucracy. So let's just do the work. Thank All right. You. Thank you so much. We'll be talking with Mr. Nick Agule, a public affairs analyst. He joined us from uh, the UK. Uh, this is where we wrap it up on today's show. We'd like to thank you for being a part of our production today. On behalf of the entire uh, Breakfast family, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Wishing you a lovely Wednesday.